The gun shop show, the gun shop show. What is it? We don't know. The gun shop show, the gun shop show. Here we go, it's the gun shop show. Welcome to the gun shop show. This is the only show that comes to you from the sales floor of a real world gun store, and that is Liberty Tree Guns in Carthage, Missouri. And alongside me, as always, the man running the controls and flipping the knobs and turning the switches is my man, Trevor. Hello, everybody. And then also to my right, and I should not point with a gun in my hand, so I'll just use my finger. That is our resident gun bunny, Logan Jones. Logan. Today's show is going to be an all-out sprint to the finish. Because it's all checking the voicemail. Yeah, and it sounds Speaking like it ain't of, waiting on it anybody. Is, it is full the to the, the brim. Mm-hmm. So it's all listener questions today, and we got so many of them, we're mm-hmm. going to have to stay focused. That's right. If we're going to make yes. it. we got to hammer them out. Uh, we're also going to give away a gun today, and we will share details on that, so stay with us. We're also going to announce the winner of mm-hmm. the gun from the last show. Uh, but before we announce that we need to just get to work that's right you better Check. get to lifting i'm yeah. going better to better get to lifting oh yeah yeah you got some heavy lifting to do yeah, i got i got one of those back braces on Hang yeah on. that's probably good thinking osha would be uh extremely proud of you right now <laughs> sitting he's been working out he yeah. should be fine mm. yeah mm. working them moves. getting strong look at that very strong those guns the good thing more you're voice smells, the heavier <laughs> the phone uh Hang on, I set the phone on some of my important documents. Yeah, you don't want to ruin your documents. Okay, all right. Uh, We need an intro if we're going to be checking the voicemail. That's right. And uh, we have to do that live because we don't We are wasting no time today, Yeah, you guys just do your things. We're getting ready to rip uh, into this. uh, I don't remember how it goes. It's like kind of like a reggae. It's like an F chord, then a C chord. Yeah, straight. Logan knows it by heart already, but here we go, guys. You ready? Yeah. A one, a two. A one, a two, a three, a four. Are you ready to check the voice man? Woo! You were smoking a lot. Place. That I'm is fiery. some a pretty fiery licks. Yeah. Tell you what. Oh, man, that was impressive. Nothing makes me feel better than a good shred in the morning time. That's right. Good thing you wear fireproof clothes. Mm-hmm. I know. <sighs> that was tough. But, yeah. you know, I only broke seven strings this time. So not bad. Not, not bad, bad at all. At all. Uh, let me activate the voicemail. Yeah, you're going to want to go ahead and do see that. See if any of our yeah. listeners slash customers have left us mm-hmm. see what we got in here all right let's uh let's ring it up here this is Terry again from joplin i have just some uh legal questions first of all if you're uh stopped in a vehicle you have a uh concealed carry permit and or a weapon in your vehicle are you required to tell the officer or policeman that you have it, and if so, how do you do that? Uh, also, uh, can a law enforcement person be allowed to search the vehicle without a without a, a search permit? And uh, is there any, any time that they would be allowed to legally take the weapon away from you? That's a great question. Uh, good to hear from Terry again. Um, so I have some thoughts on this and some ones that I share with my students when they take the concealed carry class. Uh, however, just like Terry said, these are legal questions. So if you want expert advice, you need legal help, which mm-hmm. is why I right. brought in our friend John from U.S. Law Shield, uh, the very type of expert that you would have access to as a U.S. Law Shield member. Um, U.S. Law Shield makes the gun shop show possible. John, thank you for joining us. Uh, did you hear that question? Yeah, happy to join you guys. Uh, it's a good question. Let's say you're pulled over and the police officer walks up to your window. You know, do you have to tell them that I have a firearm on me or that I'm a concealed carry permit holder? The answer to that question in Missouri is only if they ask. 
So you're not under an obligation to say, you know what, officer, I, I do have my firearm with me. Sometimes it's a smart thing to do. It's a nice courtesy to let the officer know that you do have a firearm, particularly if it's going to be a situation where they are going to find out. But I always recommend, you know, place your hands where they can be seen on the steering wheel, be calm, let the officer know, uh, hey, I have a firearm with me. I'm a concealed carry permit holder. Or if you're not a concealed, concealed carry permit holder, just let them know that, you know, you do have a firearm with you. And then the officer can say, hey, you know, if you don't pull yours, I won't pull mine. Or the officer could take the firearm for the duration of the stop and then give it back to you afterwards, assuming you haven't done anything illegal. So uh, you touched on a couple of things, and I'll expand uh, on them after we let you go because I know you're a, you're a busy man. Uh, but one of the things is taking the firearm during the duration of the stop. So people kind of freak out at that notion because they hear, can an officer take my firearm on a car stop because they feel uncomfortable. And this is a discussion that went on in our fan Facebook group. They said, well, I don't want an officer to be able to take my guns just because he feels uncomfortable. Uh, yeah. Whenever I was a police officer, it was sort of well established that the Supreme Court has given leeway to officers when it comes, especially to officer safety. So whoever they have detained or stopped obviously is entitled to their constitutional rights but within that there is um, I don't want to say exceptions but things that an officer can do if he thinks it's absolutely necessary to protect life during the stop so for instance if a police officer has reasonable suspicion that some kind of criminal activity is going on um, sometimes we call that a Terry stop, the Supreme Court case of Terry v. Ohio, you may be familiar with. Um, in that instance, the police officer can pat you down and check you for weapons. Uh, if the police officer has probable cause to believe that you've committed a crime, they could search your entire car. Uh, also, if you're placed under arrest, they could do a search incident to arrest. So those are some of the kind of general parameters of the types of searches that a police officer is allowed to do without a warrant. But when it comes to officer safety, you know, if the police officer wants to take your gun during the stop, I don't advise objecting to that. I would just go along with it. They should give you your firearm back once you're ready to go. And again, a typical traffic stop isn't going to take that long. Uh, some officers will you know, drop the ammunition out and give it back to you with the ammunition out. But I think that's that's one of those things that's best not to fight in the moment and i think it's reasonable under the law to say that they do have a right to do that for officer safety purposes and i always tell people even if you are right and a police officer is wrong the time to choose that battle is not on the side of the street um, but you've done an excellent job of breaking down what police officers are entitled to do under the law and what uh, individuals are entitled to do. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. And then I'm going to explain what I think is best practices, just what's a good idea outside of the law. Um, and, and then uh, continue to break that down. But John from U S law shield, thank you very much for joining us. Happy to. Thank you. Uh, so a couple things here. We're very fortunate in our area, especially where we're coming to you from in Southwest Missouri, where our uh, law enforcement agencies are very pro-gun, right? They, uh, that, that comes from the leadership within the uh, sheriff's departments and, and police agencies on down to the patrol officers that generally believe in private gun ownership themselves. And for that reason... Um, we don't seem to have a lot of problems on these types of interactions, thankfully. But um, just like John said from U.S. Law Shield, and by the way, these are the types of questions you could get answered by a actual attorney at any time as a member of U.S. Law Shield. And U.S. Law Shield makes the gun shop show possible. They offer unlimited, no caps, no restrictions, legal representation for you if you act in self-defense with a gun or otherwise and you can get two months free 
when you use the promo code Liberty Tree, and we'll also put our direct link in the comments. Uh, you get two months for free, and you get a locked-in rate for lifetime, no matter what. No matter if the rates have to go up in the future, yours will not if you use the promo code Liberty Tree. It's hard to find that uh, kind of a deal these days, mm -hmm. you know, where they really lock your rate in. Not yeah. only that, such a great, great uh, uh, service to have access to legal advice at the, uh, you know, just a phone call away. Yeah, I mean, not only are you going to get representation in an actual emergency, so when mm -hmm. you get your member card, your membership card, it has two numbers. One mm -hmm. is the real hotline the hot seat hotline right, where, right. Uh, i've just been involved in a shooting mm -hmm. i'm detained by police or whatever uh you call that rings directly to an attorney right who is going to get in the car and come to your location mm -hmm. there's also though another hotline that is just for questions like we pose today hey i want to know what would happen if right uh, thankfully we're able to deliver that to you on the show right yep. uh, but mm -hmm. If we weren't, you could call the number up, ask the same questions, get the same answers. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to talk about why um, why that doesn't usually happen as far as officers taking a firearm away yeah. um, and what I advise that I think you should do. Um, probably going to want to do that coming up uh, from the break. Today we're going to be giving away a Heritage Rough Rider revolver. And as soon as we get back from the quick commercial break, I'll tell you how to get this gun for absolutely free right here on the gun shop show Hey, Adam and Lauren. Uh, thanks for jumping on here so we can make an ad for the show. Yeah, absolutely. We're huge Second Amendment advocates and a big support of the Liberty Tree and the Gun Shop Show. All right, so for the ad, we're going to want to go over what you offer. We do all the standard auto, home insurance, life insurance. We also do a lot of rental property, whether that be commercial, rental, or residential, duplexes, apartment complexes, single family dwellings. And we have specialty policies for all your firearms. Well, you have commercial coverage on my uh, rental properties so we can put that in the ad too and I was thinking that we'll talk about how you're big supporters of the store and how you come in the store pretty much every day on your lunch break and buy guns maybe don't mention the everyday thing because my wife does watch the show but we've been known to come in occasionally every once in a while all right guys I think that we have everything we need to make an ad so once I get it done I'll give you guys a holler to check it out Trevor don't put it in the ad but those guys are in here literally every day on their lunch break. People are always asking me, Eli, you seem to get the best deals on things. What is your secret? Old really glory actions and estate sales. Trevor, I appreciate you jingling, but I have to say the ad part first uh -huh. um, because people need to know oh. about the company. Oh, I thought you wanted me to do And that. then also it's okay. the whole, it's covering up my yeah. face. So right. Again, um, just... Okay, Just get together. a picture like from their okay. Facebook page because yeah, that's the best got one here. place. And then just put it right up here where the Gun Shop Show logo okay. is. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll do better this and time. Then, uh, and so let me finish the ad and then you can jingle, okay? Okay. All right. So uh, the best place to go is their Facebook page. Oh, glory actions and estate sales. You know what? Fine. I'll just move in between the graphics and finish telling people that the best place to find out when old, old glory actions and estate sales i think i got it that time man it's been a pleasure over the last 18 months serving both the mount vernon and the carthage community with all their wireless needs whether that's small business or keeping your family connected visit us at 100 george e phelps boulevard carthage missouri or 417-317-6342 if you need a simple upgrade to add a line or need help with a plan change, come by and let one of our representatives help you out. Our Mount Vernon location is located at 318 West Mount Vernon Boulevard. Our phone number is 417-737-9669, or you can visit our Facebook page at Verizon Wireless Mount Vernon. We have all the accessories for your favorite models, such as the S20 Ultra, maybe it's the 11 Pro Max, or the Google Pixel 4, for just a simple plan change, an upgrade, or to add a new line to your account, stop by one of our convenient locations or check us out on social media to get connected or stay connected to Verizon Wireless, the nation's best network. Thank you. We will see you soon. Hey there. 
We got your lab results back. It looks like you have a fever. And the only prescription is more gun shop show. Welcome back to the gun shop show. I'm very excited about today's episode because it's all about the listener. That's right. We mm -hmm. are answering mm -hmm. your questions, uh, whether you are hearing us on uh, Facebook Live, whether you're watching us on YouTube, maybe you're hearing us on News Talk KZRG on the radio. That's right. Or Springfield's Talk 1041, mm -hmm. or our awesome partners at KOD 12 mm -hmm. on television. We're lucky guys. I never thought I'd be on TV. Yeah. I didn't either. You know, I never thought I'd be able to wave hi yeah. to everyone mm -hmm. at home on their couch. That's right. But here we are. Here we are. So these two guns. Yeah, talking yeah. to people on couches. Are both free guns. Mm -hmm. Okay. One we gave away last week and I'm getting ready to announce the winner. And I'm one excited. that we're going to give okay. away today. I'm hoping it's me. So. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. Last week on the show, we said, let's give away a gun to That's someone, right. yep. to someone mm -hmm. who does two things. Shares the feed. That, that was one of them. Mm -hmm. And yep. then tags five friends. And yep. a bunch of people did. Yep. Lots of people. And we're uh, grateful. And Thank you. And among those people, one of them was our winner. That's right. Sarah Jane Gomez. Yay! Congratulations. People, Way to go. People could not believe, okay, we're giving away a gun mm -hmm. just for this show, yeah. this one episode. That one episode. Yep. And that seemed crazy to do one time. Uh, yeah, I, I remember we had a conversation later. I was like, man, are you sure? Like, how are we going to stay in business and keep giving guns away? Like, yeah. How are you going to sell guns? And, then, uh, and also, like, why haven't you given me any free guns yet? Oh, well, that's an issue for another time. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll, talk about we'll talk about that. In so segment. today's gun actually comes from our used inventory. It's a uh, good-looking one. It it. You know, it has been used, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it still looks like it. Um, it looks like it'd be a fun plinker, and yeah, it comes it with. It looks like fun. This is a twenty-two long rifle, mm -hmm. and comes with a twenty-two mag cylinder. Mm -hmm. That's two calibers. That's well, two oh. calibers. Oh, for the price of free. Free. Wow. All you gotta do wow. is tag five friends in the comment of the feed and if you're listening on the radio or watching otherwise go to liberty tree on facebook find the live video tag five friends in the comments that's too of the feed, easy that's and too share. easy way too easy to mm -hmm. be getting a free gun but we're doing it anyway why not and just because it's happens. uh just because rough's in the name doesn't mean it looks rough that's right that's right. It plays nice. It does have some wear. I want to warn yeah. you. It does. I mean, it's used. I feel like. But it's okay. You might have a hard time complaining. I like to say that's free. <laughs> right. But it's not, it doesn't look worn. That's character, guys. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's character. So you'll experience mm -hmm. some character, but yep. I'm sure that doesn't diminish the way that it shoots. Mm -hmm. I doubt it. I don't know. Maybe we'll figure that out. Maybe. Maybe. All right. So what's up next, so, man? So, oh, wait. I need to finish answering Terry's question. Yeah. Terry's a regular. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you, Terry. Uh, his question right before the break was, one, uh, do you have to tell a police officer when you're stopped uh, that you're armed, and can they take away your gun on a stop? Short answer that we were uh, afforded by our expert attorney partner, U.S. Law Shield and John, uh, was no, you don't have to. Um, I'll tell you what I always advise students and what I find to be working well is telling the officer voluntarily mm -hmm. and using a phrase like i want to let you know i'm a concealed carry permit holder and i am armed mm -hmm. i know that's a little more of a mouthful yeah but yeah. it sounds a lot better than hey i got a gun <laughs> right <laughs> right it's yeah, probably a little that. more uh i don't know responsible or, or safety conscious yeah and 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 an officer is going to know if you intend to do them harm, you probably wouldn't have given them the, the plight. Right, yeah. Up. Yeah, criminals don't usually tell you they're going to criminal on you before right. they do it. Uh, so I do advise when you get pulled over, leave your hands on the steering wheel. I know it's our instinct to get uh, our driver's license and our mm -hmm. insurance ready. What we don't want to do is dig down where they can't see right. our hands and then be telling them that we have a firearm. So leave your right, hands on right. the steering wheel, let them know. The overwhelming response that I'm hearing from students, because they come back and they tell me, I yeah. did what you said, and this mm -hmm. is what happened, yeah. right. is officers say a line like, okay, do me a favor, don't reach for yours, and I won't reach for mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's a pretty common thing. Officers yeah. are very used to it. Um, At least around here, you yeah. Know, yeah. in places where it's commonplace. And one argument I made, and because this is a dangerous situation, when yeah. you're in front of law enforcement with a firearm, because... 
during my time training uh, in the police academy and after that, I had thousands of hours of how to use deadly force right. without hesitation if there was a threat. Mm -hmm. Guess how many hours of training I had on how to interact with a lawful gun owner. Well, since you use the hour pl in a plural manner, I'd say at least two. Zero hours. Oh. Um, and That's not hours at all. You know, one of the arguments that I've made, and I've gone to area uh, law enforcement leaders and said, look, if they've done all these steps, you know, mm -hmm. saying, yeah, I'm a permit holder, yeah. I have a firearm, mm -hmm. um, they're not likely to do us harm. Is it not more dangerous to take a gun that we're currently not handling, Yeah. pass it off to a second person who may or may not, as a police officer, know how to operate it mm -hmm. or, uh, or make it safe, you know, unload yeah. it. Mm -hmm. He might not be familiar with the design. Yeah. Bumble that on the side of a highway, take it off, put it, secure it in the car. It just doesn't make sense for the officer or the individual. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of them have recognized that. And so unless there's other factors at play, like suspected DWI or other suspected criminal activity, mm -hmm. although they would be entitled to, as John explained, under Terry v. Ohio and some other precedents, they would be able to take a weapon away during the duration of the stop. It doesn't mean that they should, yeah. and for the most part, they're not. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't make sense. For one, it's too commonplace. You, you know, you're stopping cars in southwest missouri and probably every other one is going to have a concealed carry firearm so yeah, yeah. Um, it's not likely to happen although if it does happen understand that without being charged or without being uh the officer having probable cause they're going to give your gun back at the end of the stop so right. if that does happen to you you know don't freak out you're, you're going to get it back yeah all right, let's jump into another one because we got to make good time. Well, we have a whole bunch of them to yeah, play. Yeah, yeah we got to yeah. get through all of these. Wait, you don't want me to play all of them at once, right? Oh, yeah. Is that what that was? Uh, yeah. I was like, we. I'm trying to be efficient, man. You, trying to save time. You didn't time. bring me in here to waste money and time. So play all the voicemails <laughs> at once, and then we can answer them all. That's at once. right. Yeah. That yeah. Good. Well, we could at least do three at a time. I would think, right? I don't know. It was very difficult to understand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, real quick, right. in, yeah. The, in the time that we have left, I want to tell mm -hmm. people how to get free stuff. Oh, we should do that. Because mm -hmm. on top of the free gun that you can win today, you can Ooh, literally go. Free. You don't have a chance to win. Uh, you can just go free. to libertytreeguns.com. And what do you click, Logan? You're going to click the Liberty Tree merch tab at the top of the page. Click that. You'll see merch there. Click that. All the products will be there free of charge. If you want them shipped, we can ship them to you. We'll just charge you a couple bucks for shipping. I've got some T-shirts in there, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can get free merch. This, this blue hat with the Liberty Tree Guns logo. This uh, high gloss UV protected bumper sticker, absolutely free. And we have a free swag contest, not a free swag, a free gun contest going mm -hmm. on in our yeah, the baby Mosin. our uh, baby Facebook Mosin. page. Uh -huh. So we, we might be able to talk about that a little bit later. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Mm -hmm. Although we have so many things to I talk know. about, so, so many, many questions <sighs> to answer, so little time. We're gonna have to be a breaking record. I'm gonna do my sure. best not to be a huge diva this time, guys. <laughs> yeah, that, about this. Please, that would be awesome. also. I just want to tell you, I'm matching my shirt this time with my shades. Oh, that does look pretty good. I noticed mm -hmm. that. I didn't mm -hmm. want to say anything about mm -hmm. it. So this episode is all about listener questions. We're going to be checking the voicemail. we got a ton of them. Probably broke a record on the Gun Shop Show. Hey everybody, Eli here, and I'm really excited to tell you that the Gun Shop Show is brought to you by one of my favorite places on earth. Located here in my hometown of Carthage on the beautiful historic square, the Emporium on the square, and the Woodshed. It's a art gallery, an event center, a gift shop, they have art classes, and there's very unique Americana artwork from famous artists like Andy Thomas. They handle a lot of his original framing. It just has this incredible old school vibe, and you can feel the history coming through 
through, you have to check out the art gallery, but then as you work your way to the back, my favorite part, the woodshed. Had a lot of great meals in here. They've got burgers. I love their catfish. Excellent. Chicken and waffles even. It's incredible. And it's also a music venue, so we got to see my favorite band of all time, the Ben Miller Band. The ceiling was literally raining down. They were rocking so hard, but the best thing owned by one of my favorite people on earth. That's Cherry Babcock. Check out the Emporium on the Square and the Woodshed. Hey, podcast listeners and live stream viewers. I wanted to let you know that the Gun Shop Show is made possible by our friends at MidAmerica RV. Being in the customer service industry, I have a really high standard for how customers are treated. MidAmerica RV does it right. I've got my RV through their dealership, and I've taken it all over the country. Uh, we made it to South Padre Island. We've gone to Colorado several times. And if you you've ever owned an RV, you know there's a lot that comes with it. So who you get it from matters. And it's extremely important that you have support after the sale. Uh, they're located just outside of Carthage. They have a really vast inventory and they are home of, I believe they call it a forever warranty. So I urge you, if you're in the market for one, to check them out. Uh, it's a really fun and can be very affordable way to get your trips in. So visit them at midamericarv.com. We appreciate their support of the gun shop show. If if you're in the market for a travel trailer or fifth wheel, check out Mid America RV. The Ruger Security 9 LTO, an exclusive new firearm only from Liberty Tree Guns. This is an affordable pistol that comes with Ruger's renowned reliability and worksmanship and comes with an optic with a three-year warranty. If you haven't ever shot a pistol with an optic on it, it's a lot of fun and you can really acquire a target quickly. All right, Ruger Security 9 LTO unboxing. So it pretty much obviously comes with everything the Ruger Security 9 would already come with. And this is how they look in the box. Ruger started doing this insert in the box, which is kind of nice. Um, we've had to modify it a little bit to make sure that your optic fits. So there's a cutout so the cover can go on and then the gun can fit right here in that. Um, they come with two mags, so a lot of price point guns, you're just getting one mag, but you get two 15 round whoops, um, OEM mags. A couple little bonuses is the optic comes with the AR mounts. So if you want to pull this optic off and run it on an AR, you've got everything that you need. That's a freebie, just comes in the box. Once we pull this insert out, Here's where all the goodies that come with the optic. Got a three year warranty on the Firefield optic, the user manual. It has the, the uh, tools for both mounting the optic if you wanna take it off, and also the adjustment screwdriver for the windage and elevation, and then all of the factory information for your pistol. So um, this is the format that those will come in. And again, guys, remember this is an option if you are excited to try out an optic on a pistol uh, and you want to do it for a price point. So these at this price are cheaper than some uh, guys are paying for just an optic. You're getting the gun and the optic. You can get the price and all the details at libertytreeguns.com. Just search LTO. Welcome back to the Gun Shop Show. Remember, if you'd like to win this Heritage Rough Rider 22 revolver, just tag five friends in the comments and share the live stream feed. That's all it takes. Mm -hmm. It's super easy. We are on an all-out sprint to the finish checking the voicemail today. So, Trevor, let's get back to it. Hey, fellas. It's Lily from Carthage again. I just want to say thanks for answering my voicemail. I know how 
full your mailbox is, so I feel special. And I wanted to uh, let you know that being a hillbilly, I like guns better than shoes. <laughs> I just want to let you know that... Um, <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Okay, I wonder where that was going. Uh, Lulu called in last week. Yeah. And, uh, that's right. She she asked for some, uh, you know, pointers and training. And so <laughs> I'm glad that she enjoyed it, but mm-hmm. uh, she didn't quite get to her point there. Uh, <laughs> did she leave another one? Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to play the next one. Lulu from Carthage. Hey, Sorry about that first call. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I am old, you're right, I'm an old lady, so you got that part right too, but but you didn't get the part right, I don't think you know that I already know about guns, okay? I got lighting from a Ruger Red Hot 44 Mags with a matching Simmons scope on it, my Winchester 3030 lever action, my 223 Thompson Center Encore with the fancy lighted crosshair scope, 40 caliber Smith & Wesson 410. Um, Snake Charmer, got 12 gates of long ago with 40 caliber Rocky Ranch hand lever action. Um, it's a mare's leg. It's, it's really sweet. Unfortunately, though, my shooting skills might be good, but my boating skills are terrible. <laughs> and each one of those guns I just told you I had have been on a float trip with me on a very fast <laughs> river and did not make it. It was sad yeah. watching them sink into the murky water and never be seen again. I still have nightmares. So, but thanks again. <laughs> for um, answering my, my, my voicemail and that uh, you're going to offer me some lessons. I'm looking forward to that with my AR-15. But I do have one more comment, and this one is for Logan. Oh. And I'm sure it ain't the first time Logan's ever heard this comment. But I just want to say, hey, Logan, you sure do have a pretty mouth. <laughs> 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 near, 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 near. <laughs> now, you guys are really enjoyable. I love your show. Keep it up. You're thank awesome. You. Have a nice day. Thank Bye. You. Wow. Thanks, thank Lulu. Um, by the way, Lulu, I was on the river that day. Mm-hmm. And, and all that list of guns that you had, <laughs> I remember that. So if the government ever comes looking for those guns, Lulu, have them hit me up. I was on the banks of that river, and I saw that. <laughs> seen the whole thing go down. Accident. It sounds and like she's armed to the teeth, too. Was, or was. Was armed to the teeth. Yeah, was. The like the accident. equalizer or something. Uh-huh. Yeah. She's had right. some experience out on the river. Uh, she sounds like she has one well, had. of everything. Had. Yeah, had one Which of everything. She looks like she's in the market again. Uh, or sounds like you it, know, anyway. And she's tried out a lot of guns, but you know what she hasn't tried out? Uh, What's that? An exclusive firearm from Liberty Tree Guns. That's right. Which we yeah, have that's right. back in stock right now. The Ruger Security 9 LTO. Mm-hmm. Um, about the best bang for the buck in an optic-mounted 9mm. A red dot right there on top of a lifetime warranty Ruger Security 9. Great little pistol. Man, I haven't shot that in a while. <sighs> I know. I kind of miss it. It's been a little while since we had him in, but it's we got a like whole a few, It's bunch. a few weeks, and then yeah. we didn't have him for a while. Yeah. 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 Uh, I well, wish you could shoot it. We, we can. What do you mean? Let's fire up uh let's fire up the old teleporta party. Last week you <laughs> didn't want to get in it. I'm even, all in were, now, baby. <laughs> no. It took well, one a week. You guys look like you look like you're doing okay. I mean, I haven't seen any crossover uh, DNA stuff going on with you no, guys. No, I feel uh-huh. great. Yeah. I actually yeah. felt better after mm-hmm. I did. But you know what? If you're down to go, I'm down to I'm go. I'm down to go. We might all as right. well yeah. do this. Uh do you have the mobile cam? Uh yeah, here. Uh let me reach over and turn it on. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. I'm gonna do fire it up right now. Do it. All right, let's go, guys. Let me grab my ear pro real quick and I'm out the dough. Gear protection range gear. You gotta do it right. LTO. That's Grab right. To the porta body! To the porta body! Oh, it smells not great in here. Well, no, it probably doesn't. should get some Febreze, maybe. All right, let's well, activate the sequence. Okay. All right, everybody ready? Oh, hope it worked. Did we make it? It's so uh, Woo, we made it, guys. We're at the range. We did it. Sweet. We did it. You shooting this one, Logan? I'll shoot this one. Let's get the mag real quick. Ruger Security 9 LTO. We're out here at the range. Whenever Logan's ready, Safety we'll... Safety uh, off. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let's shoot it. Pretty fast. Oh, 
up shots with the red dot. That red dot helps a lot. Man, I love this pistol. It feels good it. to shoot. Red dot makes follow-up shots fast and quick. I'm into it, but we should get back. We should get back. The Ruger Security 9 LTO exclusive from Liberty Tree Guns. I'm going to go ahead and activate the sequence. Tell me when you guys are ready. All right, let's okay. do it. Hit the go. It smells Hit great it. in here. Let's go. Holy <laughs> biscuit. Oh, 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 yes. All right, guys. Let's get back to the show. Let's get back. <sighs> Oh, man. Ah, that, it's shot. that pistol was too much fun. I'm having a super time. Oh. Man, well, I, I tell you what, I uh, I feel good when I get back from teleporting. Yeah, and what an asset for the show to be able it to is. just any gun that we see up here that we want to go shoot. Mm -hmm. Boink. We're yeah. out there shooting it. Name mm -hmm. one other gun shop show that has their own teleportation device. There's yeah. not one. No. Nope. Name mm, not one. name any other porta potty that also teleports. Yeah, I can't do it. Name one. I can't do it. The can't. one and only teleporta potty on the gun shop show. That's right. Um, let's, Proprietary. We, we, Very. we have a pace to keep up, but we're going to fall behind. So I think it's time to check another voicemail. Let's do it. Let's roll them. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out what's going on with the ammo. And it was gone, it came back, and it's gone again. You all don't ever seem to have any pistol ammo, that is. And margarita mix. My Cuervo margarita mix. Good luck finding any. Have a good to watch the show this weekend. Well, well, what's the deal with the margarita mix, man? Um, yeah, what's up with that? You know, I realize... It's frustrating to be in the middle of a major ammo I'm shortage. I'm super frustrated about I it. I can't imagine this man not being able to find some margarita mix to drown his sorrows in. Right. So I have taken immediate action. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, you, so? you were like a tornado in here trying to fix it all up. You know, when, when I heard that complaint, yeah. I thought... Can, it's the least we can yeah, do. Yeah, I mean, so, hey, you're a generous fellow. So what I've mm -hmm, done is mm -hmm. I've taken all of the spaces on the empty shelves at mm -hmm. Liberty Tree Guns where okay. there would normally be pistol ammo, yeah. and I have stocked all of the supplies to make margaritas. You have? Yeah. Is that so? Yeah. Go ahead and... Can you put that on screen? Yeah, just to, let's, let's show them. Just em, do it like you a... Know, there uh, it is. Wow. That is the new... So if you come in and your favorite caliber of pistol ammo is out of stock temporarily i mm -hmm, might add mm -hmm. just get uh, drunk just <laughs> you'll have a way to drown your sorrows uh -huh. and, it's nice man yeah uh, i'm Don't, just gonna no one tell the atf i won't but i was gonna point out all we need is tobacco and then we would be the atf yeah that's true mm -hmm. we so far we've just been the f yeah <laughs> yeah um, we need some a well we got the a now we need some tea we yeah. need some tea yeah, like some sweet tea or all something all we've been giving out is f's so far no a's or uh -huh. t's no um we're gonna give them out though but well hey man you know what when in a pandemic <laughs> when in yeah. Rome. <laughs> right that uh, didn't go very well it was a crash it was a crash landing on yeah. that show Appreciate um, the, the, ac mm -hmm. the actual um missouri liquor board did make some changes that actually really? loosened the restrictions on alcohol sales. Oh. Uh, we did that down at our restaurant. Yeah, well, that's right. Drive so through windows. You never know. Is that still um, a thing? Yeah, you can still, as far as I know, you can still, with tamper-proof tape, give out margaritas out of the drive through window. Wow. So we're still doing it. I didn't know that. All right. Uh, so this episode is all about listener questions, uh, and we have a voicemail box full, and that is from people calling at 208-918-1776. On the gun shop show. Hey folks, I had to learn the hard way that a good home inspection makes a difference when you're buying a home. Our new sponsor, All Points Inspections, can provide just that. Here's a message from Corey from All Points Inspections. Hey guys, uh, Corey Hines here, uh, owner of All Points Inspections. Up on a roof right now, currently doing a roof inspection checking for leaks but i am excited to announce that i am a new sponsor with the gun shop show those guys are awesome over there it's been kind of a 
Saturday morning routine for me now to join in on the conversations. Uh, just a bunch of good group of guys all around, followers, watchers. Check them out. If you guys need home inspections, give me a call. 417-439-9229. Thank you. Land is everything to me. Uh, when I was born, I was brought home to the family farm, uh, was raised, learned work ethic there, learned uh, appreciation and respect for life and the land itself, and it just became second nature. I had to be there all the time. Whenever I wasn't on the land, I was not happy. But I learned to understand the land, learned to respect it, you know, learned family values. You know, my wife and I have bought a farm. Uh, besides the one we live on, and uh, it has just been a, it's been a great investment, and it's been some place that my son and I have shared the passion of hunting together, and you know it's just it li uh, you know land has been you know land has been everything in my life. It, it has kind of kept kept me focused and and uh, gave me a place to be. It's kind of kept me grounded. Listen here, Pilgrim. This here is the Gun Shop Show. Welcome back to the Gun Shop Show. I want to remind you that if you would like to get a free gun, and I know you do. I do. I can't even say that. I would say if you would like to. I know you want to get a free gun. Oh, yeah. Oh, Who yeah. doesn't want free exactly. stuff? This is a free, free, free gun. Free stuff with G. From our used inventory, mm -hmm. this is a trade-in, which we get tons of here at Liberty mm -hmm. Tree Guns. It looks great. Um, it yeah, is it a... Is that Coco Bolo? Co I think it's Coco Bolo Coco, Beach. Coco Bolo. Um, <laughs> it comes with a 22 long rifle and 22 mag cylinder. And all you're doing is helping us grow the reach of the show. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's our goal to take over the world with yeah, the gun shop uh, show. I mean, world. I don't see any reason why we can't just uh, take over the galaxy we have been branching out all across the country mm -hmm. on radio mm -hmm. on coast live stream coast. um coast and coast. so the way that you do that is you tag five friends in the comments and choose your gun loving america loving freedom loving friends mm -hmm. tag those don't mm -hmm. just tag random people yeah not randoms and no then, randos no randos and then mm -hmm. share the feed okay that's all it takes all right so Coming to you from the sales floor of the best gun store in the world, Liberty Tree Guns. And we're checking the oh, voicemail. We're trying to check as many of them as possible. So, that's right. Uh, but Rapid if fire. you would like to leave us a voicemail. Oh, yeah. We should tell them how to do that. You, you should. should call the number. That's right. What's and the that number? number It's a little is number called a 208-918-1776. Two two zero zero that's the number. Hi, this is April, and I was just wanting to know when the next time you guys were going to have a concealed carry class. Thanks. Bye. Oh, Help April, her out, man. April, hey, this is an easy one. That's my uh, mom. Softball. I can make softball. time. That's your mom? That's my mama. Of Aww. course it's your mom. Yeah, I don't recognize nice that voice anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Sweet. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Easy one. Thanks for giving me an easy one. So we can knock these out. Mm hmm September 26th. Mm -hmm. That's the next concealed carry class. You and knock that out like Cassius Clay, man. And you can just go to libertytreeguns.com, click the training tab, and get signed up. That's $75. It it's uh, lunch provided. That's right. And a delicious lunch at that. The Good use stuff. of our guns and ammo. So, mm -hmm. easy one. September 26th, go to the website, sign up, or give us a call. All right, roll the next one. Hey, guys, this is Alan from Las Vegas. I know you all sell suppressors. Can you show one off on the show? Thanks. Look forward to you watching your show all week. <laughs> we do. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Alan's First of all, guy. thank you, Alan. I love him. This guy, this guy is prolific, and we appreciate his fanship. Yeah, mm -hmm. representing down there in mm -hmm. Vegas. Um, so, yes, we do sell suppressors. In fact, I have a Dead Air 22 long rifle suppre uh, suppressor right here. Ooh. In fact... Is Dead Air the brand? That's yes. the brand. Okay. Yeah, that's the it's name a of Mask it. 22 suppressor. Mask? mask? What's mask. mask mean? 
probably masks the sound makes it oh quiet. okay probably. all right yeah. sorry guys yeah i, I don't, don't know, know what it I means i don't stuff. know what every company's marketing means well, trevor I, well i know <laughs> but I, if i don't we've know. been over this <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry guys <laughs> um so we have a pretty good selection of in-house suppressors i would say so tons probably the most in the area easily easily you know? the most in the area and we have the area's only silencer shop kiosk mm -hmm. um that's right. kiosk which will allow you to just do your paperwork mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. there and i thought yeah we could show this off on the show because we, yeah. we have we have a teleporter a party teleporter that's right party. and that's so, right mm -hmm. party. um so not everyone has access to uh, no teleportation. Not technology. everyone does, no. and no. not everyone. But I got a guy. Not everyone should. Not have everyone access has access. To right. Not everyone should have the power uh, that we have. Not everyone has access to this gun I have in my hands either. That it's is a sweet such a. Gun. I don't know. What is that? I can't even describe how that looks, but it looks cool. It looks awesome. It is a Keltec CP33, which mm -hmm. is amazing in this environment that we got one in stock, but yeah. we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a quadruple stack magazine. Quaddy. Holds Ooh. 33 rounds. It has so many rounds. And then it you put a, a suppressor on it, and mm -hmm. it is a heck of a toy. Yeah. And I'm ready to just take it out and shoot it. Okay. Let's do it. Let's fire up that mobile cam. All right. Here we have go. a mobile cam. cam. Yep. Are you going with us? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, the first time was great, oh, man. I, just, I was sick after my first time. We need to get our you're not Yeah, pro. I wasn't. I wasn't either. Yeah, let's. we oh. should probably put on our pro at least. So. Um, no, Let, we, we don't need it. Oh, well. We don't need it because that's one of the upsides of having a suppressor. You that don't need is. Pro, exactly. That is, but we should probably put it on. I'm putting it on anyway. That's true. I'm firing it up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. All right, guys, let's put on that ear pro once again, and we're heading out again. We don't need ear pro. We don't need ear pro. What? We don't oh. Need ear pro. Suppressor, dude. Nice. All right. All right, no ear pro. Let's go, fellas. Now, I'm still a little concerned about the uh, teleporting, guys. I'm because not going to lie. Smell? Well, that Maybe apparently. Smell. You think Febreze will sponsor us? <laughs> they should. I would if I were them. <laughs> The teleporter ah, party. Sorry, it's looking out. Cramped. I'm sorry. Yeah, Something's poking me in I the back. Yeah. You're gonna need it. The itching's not, uh, not right. contagious, is it? All right, we're gonna activate right. the sequence. Oh, go ahead, here we go. Numbers. To the range. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh. All right. All right, let's here do some shooting. All right, here yeah. we go, guys. Cramped. Well, right, I'm ready to shoot. It's what? not the and range. The what do you mean it's not the range? This isn't the range at all. Oh, holy crap, we are on the square. All right. Did you put the numbers I must in have, the range? I must have put it in wrong. That's okay. Uh, wow, this is awkward. Well, um, here's a new store. Check it out, everybody. This is the new Liberty Tree Guns store. This is where we're gonna be moving our store to, right? Downtown, of course, we're gonna make the building look a little better. Oh, shout out to uh, the woodshed and cherries. And also, if you're not from our area, check this out. Photograph thing in Missouri next to the arch. But we need to get to the range. Yeah, we do. Guys. Back to the teleporter buddy. All right, I'll, I'm gonna put. In. I'm gonna put it in the right coordinates mm. this time. Yeah, that'd be cool. All right. We gotta lock up the door, guys. Right, so great in here. Ready for the sequence? Yeah, yeah right. go ahead, dude. All right. right, here we go. Oh my god! Oh gosh! Is that, a, is that fly from the store? Uh, Teleported with us? I guess so, man. All right, here we go. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm surprised. Woo! You're going with us. Yeah, well, human trials. Hey. <laughs> the human trials. All right. It's pretty sweet. Got my mag, CP33, with dead air suppressor. See how she runs. Safety off. Dang. It's crazy how quiet it is. It's super quiet. I'm digging it. It runs pretty good even with that 
corroded ammo from Yeah, the... that was pretty gross ammo. I'm surprised to chuck through it. All right. Let's get back. Yeah, let's get back. Back to the teleporter uh, body. You lock well, yeah, lock that door, door, door here, here guys. Let's get time. the sequence yeah. activated. Go ahead. All right. All right. Ready? Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Woo! Oh, man. Oh, guys. Thank, thank you for the Is it getting rougher? I think so. And also, uh, you're right. We didn't need the ear pro at all. No, that thing's yeah. quiet. All right, let's get back to our stations. You know, I don't normally want to take guns home. <laughs> he wants to take that one home. I want to take one home too, giving away all those free guns. Woo! Oh man, that uh, that little space age looking gun was a blast a to shoot. A ton of fun. Yeah, and it was like pop, 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 pop. Yeah, and he, that was even with Lots the uh, the grody ammo. I just I had some uh. like corroded old twenty two <laughs> shells that someone gave me, yeah. which I keep them around so we can go burn them up at the yeah. range mm -hmm. and stuff Makes good like sense. that. But yeah, I you wanna... feel so good after a teleport. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like it I, I mean, I, something at I the feel okay. Level for me. Yeah, I feel maybe it takes okay. you apart, puts you back together again. That's why I was worried about you know the reconstruction stuff. Yeah, yeah. I don't you, know, know. you don't want to arm where your leg is and a leg where your ear is or something like that. That wouldn't be cool at no. all. We got too many voicemails. Let's check them. Hey, yeah. guys, this is David Ingram calling from my Oklahoma again. My question is, if there is a gun that I'm looking for that is not on the racks of Liberty Tree guns, can you order it for me? And I think the question that other people might be thinking, too. All right, thanks. Have a good day. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, thanks for calling. We appreciate it. And yep. did he say Oklahoma? Uh, yes, he I did say so. Oklahoma. Yeah, mm -hmm. so. yep. Yep. We appreciate all our fans state. in Oklahoma. Yeah, and he uh, he is one of uh, the contributors to the Baby Mosin mm -hmm. swag contest. That is right. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about that for just a second, okay. and then we'll answer his question. Okay. Sure. Um, the way that you win that is you... The win the baby Mosin, which I have right here in my hands. Little baby Mosin. Little baby Mosin. Is you get some free so merch, mm -hmm, which we explain mm -hmm. that you can go grab from the website yep. for free. Mm -hmm. And then you take a picture. Um, some people have taken a picture with their kids who are fans of the gun shop show. That's right. Um, or with their farm animals mm -hmm. or with their car or whatever the case is. And then you go to the gun shop show Facebook group, which we'll put the link to in the comments. You post your picture. And then the one with the most likes is going to get the Mini Mosin. That's it's, all it takes. It's not really like a raffle or a chance to win. It is literally you get the most likes. Put which it means in the work. You it's can, a competition. You can, it's right. a competition. You can tell people to go there and vote on your picture on the Gun Shop Show. Hey, you know what makes this the Gun Shop Show possible? It's people who believe in the show. And someone who has believed in the show from the very beginning is my good friend Chris Chapman, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply. Here's a message from Chris. Guys, uh, my name's Chris Chapman, uh, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply. And uh, I just want to take a few seconds here to let you know that we are going to be uh, proud sponsors of the Gun Shop Show. And uh, we, we appreciate everything that them guys are doing over there. And we just want to show them our support. Thank you. So whether you have two chickens or 2,000 acres, Chris is your man. Give him a call. I guess that's pretty much the ad. Whitehead Farm Supply. Seriously? Always. Commercial idea for net fishes. I walk into the commercial director, we'll call him's office. I say to him, hey, how's it going? He replies, good. We got your commercial ready to go. Are you ready to listen? Yeah, but before I do, I have an idea. I want to flip by you. He says, okay, a bit sarcastically. And I say, all right. And I clear my throat <clears throat> and I start singing this song, something similar. Net fishes, we're all really good friends, hanging out and stuff. And having memories to talk about when we were young. Snap fishes. 
and I say the business name wrong, like Fish Nances. He replies, that's terrible. And you didn't even say the right business name at the end. It's your business. Then it cuts to Fish Snatches. I mean, Nav Fishes, where we can all be friends. And commercial. This just in. Huge cave found beneath the heart of the city. Spelunka shared tales of an underground cavern system in Carthage, Missouri. Locals report the entrance to be at 10th and Garrison. Cave Gang Pizza. Stop in and enjoy wings, wood fire pizza made with local ingredients, and our full bar. Bring the whole gang and uncover a legend. Hey man, we gotta do this about anywhere porta potty commercial. Uh, I kind of have my hands full. Uh, I didn't want to bother you, but we really got to get it done. You know this is where I go to do my special project. I'm almost done. Hang on. I am done. The Gun Shop Show is brought to you by About Anywhere Porta Potties. They'll take you anywhere. You can take a beep anywhere. Hey everybody, it's Eli at Liberty Tree Guns here at 530 West Fur Road in Carthage, Missouri, and I want to show you a gun collection that we just bought from an individual. A little bit of everything in this one. We wrote a check for 22 guns. Got some newer lever guns, cool Henry Silver Boy, some older shotguns. This is a cool old 410 double barrel. Um, this, was, this was a good mix. There was some newer type stuff some old stuff here, some black powder, some cool Colt, uh, black powder revolvers, newer Rugers, uh, Mark III's, PMR 30, Taurus Judge, couple of Taurus revolvers, got a long slide 1911 right here, and then got uh, this cool Llama 45. We just sold the sister to that gun in 38 super this particular individual this is half the collection that we bought from him and so i just want to remind you that we pay top dollar for entire collections so we'll buy one gun or a hundred from you and uh, we can offer consignment where we sort of establish what these guns are worth and we pay you out when they sell or in the case of this one we offered consignment we discussed it and then we offered a cash price which was a little bit less than the consignment settlement price uh, but it's quick it was one check and we paid those all out to this individual and uh, probably the biggest baddest coolest one of the whole mix was this Bushmaster BA 50 uh, so we have everything from little antique 22s to 50 cows in this one collection and want to remind you that we'd love a chance to buy your collection uh, find us at LibertyTreeGuns.com or here on Fur Road in Carthage, Missouri. See you soon. Kids are curious by nature. Do your part to prevent unwanted tragedy from striking in your home by doing these simple tasks. Consider gun locks and or gun safes for storage of firearms. Don't leave your guns unattended where children could reach them. Discuss with your children the rules of firearm safety. Sign your kids up for hunter safety classes. Firearm safety in the household is your responsibility. Do your part to prevent unwanted tragedy from striking in your home. For more information, visit jaspercountysheriff.org. The Gun Shop Show, the Gun Shop Show, what is it? We don't know. The Gun Shop Show, the Gun Shop Show, here we go, it's the Gun Shop Show. Caught me on the sip cam again. Always <sighs> sipping. Always, Always sipping. Big sipping. Coming sippin'. back mm -hmm. from the sipping. Um, sipping ain't easy, if man. If you're hearing this and your gun shop does not make an absolutely free two-hour mm -hmm. show for you for TV yep. or yep. Mm -hmm. you can watch it on your phone for uh -huh. absolutely free and then on top of that, give you free swag and give you free guns mm -hmm. maybe you should be shopping somewhere different i you know what i just quit shopping shop. in all the places that don't do that you know mm -hmm. what and also I made a commitment those other places probably are telling you things like all sales are final yeah 
Mm. Firearms and ammunition sales are final. Jerks. You see that printed out. It's like on a piece All of paper. Time, yeah. Um, and they're like, yeah, we don't like the way you look. And yeah, come back in funny. here with something you bought from us. Yeah. And yeah. We're yeah, gonna laugh you out the door. Like, get out of my house. But not mm -hmm. with Liberty Tree guns. That's Never right. With Liberty Tree guns. Liberty Tree guns uh, offers you the Liberty Tree guarantee, which does lots of things for mm -hmm. you. Promises mm -hmm. you. Uh, friendly service every time. That's true. It promises you lifetime warranty assistance, mm -hmm. meaning if your gun has a warranty of any kind, Liberty Tree will help enforce that with mm -hmm. the manufacturer. We do Take that. care of those um, we are, issues. We've been doing it all this time. We're also going to guarantee yeah. used guns for 90 days. Even used ones. New Even ones. Used ones. Wow. New ones and used ones. Like this used one. Which wow. will guarantee, even though you're going to be able to get a chance to get it for free. This, wow. is, a, this is a Heritage Rough wow. Rider. So cool. It's been around the block a little bit, so you can tell it's been used. Yeah. Um, but I bet it's it okay. still shoots good. Yeah. You know, Probably. I wonder if it does shoot good. I don't know, man. I don't know if it shoots good or not. Do you want to go find out? Right now? You want to do it right we now? We could find out. We're yeah. in the middle of filming a show. Yeah, We dude, could do it right now, though, because we have a teleport. Oh! Oh! Well, yeah. why didn't you if say you're so ready. before? If you're, not, if you're right scared, we don't have to do it right now. I'm not scared right now. I mean, you did it two times already. A third time, not going to kill you. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Dis disclaimer, well, why not? Kill you. I mean, why not? If you have, uh, you need to have clean underwear. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. You need to have. I got three pairs of those on right now. Smart. Um, Smart. Simultaneously. You need to have good mm -hmm. attitude. Oh, it's top notch. And it's top, you're need top to have quality. on. A pair of sunglasses. Uh, yeah, yeah. Of course. And mm -hmm. you're going to need Should those sunglasses match someone's shirt? They don't have to, but it's a plus if they do. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sweet. And the mobile cam. Oh, well, we got the mobile cam. It's right here. All right. right. Well, if right you're ready to here. go, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. All right. Then All right, get let the mobile cam and let's go. Let me switch it on, guys. All here right. we go. Let's go mm -hmm. for it. All right. Mobile cam is fired up. Gonna wear the Ear Pro this time if I can get it on my head. <laughs> All right. Here we go, fellas. To the teleporter body! Oh, All right. I did again today. I because all they have to do is tag five friends in the comments and share the feed. Step on in, Lopes. All right, guys. Teleport. Uh, we're gonna teleport. I was actually being kind of it's serious kind of about the whole breeze thing, man. Yeah. Every time I get in here, yeah. I'm kind of thinking the same thing. Me too. All right. Got that sequence put in. Put in, and all right. let's go. All right. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> my complexion. No. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see if it works. Let's we pass through our listening area, Springfield 1041. We made it, guys. Back at the range. All right. Wow. Yeah. We've already got to shoot today, Trevor. Do you? Uh, yeah, man. You I'll take that for a test the, ride. The freebie gun. Let me take the camera for from sure. you. All right. Actually hit something. Somebody's getting this gun today. All they got to do is tag five friends in the comments. Share the feed. Nice. Nice. Nailing it. Freebie gun. I know what you're saying. Did he shoot five shots or six? You must be asking yourself. That was it. <laughs> All right. How'd you like it? Excellent. Would you be excited to win that just by sharing the feed and tagging five friends in the comments of the live stream? I would. I totally would too. Um, let's get back to the studio and... Trade me, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here, you take the camera. All right. Let's go, guys. To the teleporter party. Woo! Activating the sequence. Here we go. Right. Here we go. Time to check our crew. Oh, 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 oh. All right, guys. Let's get back on Trevor, the set. Hey, dirty Harry with the <laughs> freebie reward. Woo! That was fun. I like to do it right every time. I always feel good when you get out of the cell. Me too, party. man. I'm starting to feel that way too. I'm starting to feel a little younger. Uh, 
All right, man. Oh, man. Good to be back. But I have to say, man, I don't know what the shooting equivalent of the basketball hang is. Oh, yeah. But you I'm know, feeling you, it right now. You're talking mm-hmm. about you shoot a jumper. Yeah. And you just leave that hand yeah. up. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I was six for six on that. That looked pretty good. But you know what? What? Imagine how much. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I feel weird after uh oh teleporting. It's shaking your brains up, huh? That's uh, it's, uh, three, it's a little odd. It's like three times something is feels, too much. Something feels wrong. <laughs> really? I feel good. I feel fresh. I'm coming on board with but, Eli with the feeling good thing, man. But I'm not going to lie. You you look wrong. Yeah, you look shaken, I not lo- stirred. I look wrong. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it seems to be affecting <laughs> you yeah, in a it. negative way. Teleporting. <laughs> I knew it was going to get me. <laughs> Didn't know when. Damn. Oh man. Okay, we still got a timeline to keep here. Yeah, it's we time do. to check the voicemail. Yeah, uh let's roll it here, folks. Hey guys, this is David Ingram calling from my Oklahoma again. My question is if there is a gun that I'm looking for that is not on the racks of Liberty Tree guns, can you order it for me? And I think the question that other people might be thinking too. All right, thanks. Have a good day. Bye. Ah. Thanks for playing that one again, because I almost forgot his yeah. question. Yeah. yeah. Because um, for me, it's obvious. Right. You know, absolutely, we can order mm-hmm. just about any gun under the sun. And that's right. Uh, and just to tell you, you can also look through just about every gun on the sun, uh, under the sun, by that's, going to Liberty Tree Guns. Yeah, that literally is the case. Go to Liberty Tree Guns. You're going to find 50,000 plus just a product. just a meager 50,000 plus products that's no joke and we've got this on sale section here with a bunch of stuff that's deeply discounted deeply too deeply discounted but you can go there and it's going to tell you a couple things in stock in Carthage mm-hmm. or available online so mm-hmm. all that available mm-hmm. online every resource that we have which is a bunch lots w- of them we've got suppliers in Baton Rouge. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got suppliers in Dallas, Texas. That's right. We got suppliers in Shreveport. Yep. Mm-hmm. In Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got them Oops. out on the East Coast. Can't remember a couple towns there. But anyway, we got warehouses. That's right. That we source product from. Mm-hmm. And that and and keep in mind, you can go to Liberty Tree Guns and look through that. You can search by caliber. You can search by keyword. That's right. Uh, but you can also come in the store. Mm-hmm. And get with one of our uh, helpful uh, staff members, which we That's right. we made whole videos. Yeah, we need to get those videos yeah. out, man. I was just thinking about that. Sorry, mm. Sorry. it's a lot to do around yeah, here. Yeah, we're we busy folks, a gun man. Store, it's it's a, not because we don't want to. We want to, but anyway, you can meet these guys, which mm-hmm. we're, we'll introduce you to soon on the show. Right, right. Yeah. And you don't have to use a computer if you're no. listening to this and you're like, man, I don't want to go to LibertyTreeGuns.com. You can come in, you can hook up with Remington or Rob or Tim or mm-hmm. Gary uh-huh. and say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. You know, I'm dove season's coming up, for yep. example. Yeah. I want a shotgun. I want a semi auto, but I need it to be in this price range and I want this kind of stock. They're going to use all these same resources. Mm-hmm. Um, That's and true. Help you and also help you, you out. Correct. Be your friends. They're experts. That's right. Not only are they your friends in the gun business, mm-hmm. but they are experts. Experts. Um, and they help customers all the time. So they don't. Only, they have their own experiences mm-hmm. about finding things that works for them. But also, it's amazing what years of feedback and helping other people and sending them out the door with something and then right. having them come yeah. back in and say. This work for me for these reasons. Yeah. Um, they can do all that. So, uh, to answer your question, absolutely, we can order just about anything. There is a shortage, so sometimes the wait is right. longer. Mm-hmm. It but, can be. Yeah, but, but I think it's getting better, though, right, guys? I mean, the shipment times are are yeah, getting tighter. The mm-hmm. delay. I mean, we were seeing delays just because the warehouses yeah. were behind. We were mm-hmm. seeing FedEx is literally taking a long time, and yeah. all of that's getting tighter. We're still like ammo. We're still having to replace that with bottles of tequila. Um, <laughs> yeah, thankfully. <laughs> but that's coming in stock. And I always tell people, get in line by doing a special order. Mm-hmm. If you do a special order for a product that's out of stock today, you will get the first one. So before we put them out on the shelf, 
that includes ammo, hard yeah. to get guns. Yeah, it's coming we're, your way. We're yes. gonna fill those orders. We're gonna call you right. or text you, uh, and let you know that your order's been filled. And That's so, right. Even though it, it stinks to walk in the store thinking you might mm-hmm. get it that day mm-hmm. and have to do a special order, it's better than some guys that have been waiting a really long time because right. they haven't done the special order and, it, right. and yep. it goes to those that have. Right, and putting that special order in means that you're going to get it much sooner rather than later. Yeah, it's Guaranteed. usually not as bad as people think. Right. So when we get back, we're going to continue answering all the listener questions, checking our voicemail. And we're going to be probably having too much fun. I don't know if we're going to teleport anymore today, but we'll find out on the Gun Shop Show. People are always asking me, Eli, you seem to get the best deals on things. What is your secret? Old glory actions and estate sales. Trevor, I appreciate you jingling, but I have to say the ad part first uh-huh. um, because people need to know oh. about the company. Oh, I thought you wanted me to do that. And it. then also, it's okay. the whole, it's covering up my yeah. face. So right. um, just okay, just get together. a picture like from their okay. Facebook page because yeah, that's the best one here. place. And then just put it right up here where the Gun Shop Show logo okay. is. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll do better this and time. Then, uh, and so let me finish the ad and then you can jingle, okay? Okay. All right. So uh, the best place to go is their Facebook page. Oh, glory actions and estate sales. You know what? Fine. I'll just move in between the graphics and finish telling people that the best place to find out when old, old glory glo- actions and estate sales. I think I got it that time, man. The gun shop show costs money to make. And the gun shop show is brought to you by pecans and cheese. Not really. Actually. We didn't have any sponsors for this segment, and so I decided that I would take a snack break, and also, I decided, if you guys are tired of listening to me eat cheese and nuts, that you need to buy an ad. So, from now on, if our ad sponsorships don't sell out, you're going to have to listen to me eat nuts and cheese. In order to sponsor the Gun Shop Show, send us an email at thegunshopshow at gmail.com. Next week, chips. Hey, Adam and Lauren. Uh, thanks for jumping on here so we can make an ad for the show. Yeah, absolutely. We're huge Second Amendment advocates and a big support of the Liberty Tree and the Gun Shop Show. All right, so for the ad, we're going to want to go over what you offer. We do all the standard auto, home insurance, life insurance. We also do a lot of rental property, whether that be commercial rental or residential duplexes, apartment complexes, single family dwellings. And we have specialty policies for all your firearms. Well, you have commercial coverage on my Uh, rental properties so we can put that in the ad too and i was thinking that we'll talk about how your big supporters of the store and how you come in the store pretty much every day on your lunch break and buy guns maybe don't mention the everyday thing because my wife does watch the show but we've been known to come in occasionally every once in a while all right guys i think that we have everything we need to make an ad so once i get it done i'll give you guys a holler to check it out trevor don't put it in the ad but those guys are in here literally every day on their lunch break the gun shop show brought to you by little old ladies they're little and they're old they're little old ladies welcome back to the gun shop show i don't know about you guys but i'm having a good time i'm always having a good time too I like hearing from our viewers. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. So um, I always encourage people to give us a call yeah. at 208-918-1776. We need a view of that phone, uh, fellas. Logan, I think maybe the teleporting has affected your singing. What happened, Logan? Well, you're you, looking a little off. Yeah, Sound you, a look little, you look shaken. You look disturbed. Feel different be strong yeah, you look different. Be strong anyway mm-hmm. if you want to get a free gun just make sure you tag five friends in the comments we can get this heritage rough rider with two barrels which um i don't know if it was the gun or just trevor but it's easy it to me. shoot it was me two, uh, it was me. two cylinders two cylinders yeah yeah 
Yeah. Yeah. 22 Meg and 22 Long. One and the other. Mm -hmm. Share the feed. Tag five friends in the comments. That's all it takes. But we got to get back to it. We're going to check the voicemail. Hey, guys. Dustin Orange from Joplin. Um, I do a lot of trading when it comes to firearms, and I'm just curious as to the legal way to go about that, if there's any sort of form that needs to be filled out between two individuals or anything else. Love your show. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. that. Thank you. Appreciate that. Always uh, appreciate having those listeners that oh, yeah. uh, oh, care yeah. about the show. Mm -hmm. All right, Dustin, to answer your question, there right you can do private transactions of firearms in Missouri. Mm -hmm. There is no registry. However, when you get to doing um, transactions with people you don't know, and transactions that might be multifaceted. He mentioned trading, and yeah. mm -hmm. uh, some people might not get this. You didn't grow up kind of in this vein, but mm -hmm. it's common for people to trade uh, four wheelers and cars, right, and car right. parts, mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, you know, horses, Pokemon and, cards. No, no. Oh. Um, uh, you, four you guns, cards? baseball cards, baseball cards, mm, yeah, basketball, basketball card. cards. Basketball I've never cards. seen a basketball card traded for a firearm in my life. Well, maybe not for a firearm. I'm not saying it couldn't happen. Maybe for a Corvette. Ooh, a mm -hmm. Corvette. Yep. Anyway, there's some things you want to do to protect yourself. Absolutely. So technically, yep. you're not required initially to fill out any certain paperwork or mm -hmm. take any certain steps, but you can't knowingly be in possession of one, a firearm that's been defaced, mm -hmm. which means altered the serial numbers. That is a misdemeanor in Missouri. Yep. Uh, or also, obviously, be in possession of a fire, a stolen firearm. Right. Mm -hmm. And the risk here is not that you would intentionally take right. a stolen gun. Right, yeah. It's the unintentional element. So it's important to document what you did. And if if uh, Dustin is a frequent trader, he's going to be wanting to get good deals. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes when a deal is too good to be true, there's a reason. Yep. yep. Um, so the best thing we can do is document it to uh, cover ourselves. So if it turns out that you do end up in possession of a firearm that's been reported stolen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to be in a tough spot if you're like, well, I got it from a guy. I don't remember his name. Mm -hmm. I met him on the parking lot <laughs> of uh, Walgreens, yeah. and I traded him a, 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 a Ultra Glide for it, mm -hmm. you know, Power Glide 2-speed two, two transmission. <laughs> yeah. But I don't remember his name. I don't remember what he looked like. Um Dustin's going to think I'm insinuating that it's the kind of trade he does. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is it's going to be tough if you don't have an answer to that question. Yeah. So the best thing you can do is create a bill of sale. Mm -hmm. And I don't want you to overthink it. There are some templates online that spell it out. But primarily, you want to be creating a record for yourself. And it can be written. I've done it on notebook paper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I And I always volunteer my driver's license and yep. tell them they should get theirs out. So Smart. let's say, I said, you know what, why don't we just get our driver's licenses out right. and we'll each take a picture. Mm -hmm. And also I'm going to write out, and sometimes I just hand write two copies. I, Eli Bruton, am selling this Ruger Security 9 LTO, uh, serial number blah, 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 to uh, Joe Blow or mm -hmm. Dustin Orange for this amount and i usually write in our driver's license numbers mm -hmm. on this date sign it if if you don't have a copy machine just make make two copies sign yep. both copies yeah and keep that record mm -hmm. because i uh, it's pretty rare to get uh an instance where you become inadvertently in possession of a stolen firearm mm -hmm. but i have seen it happen and i've seen it happen where the, the parties involved um didn't even know like it had changed hands several times right and they didn't know so the people who were acting in good faith trading for it at reasonable mm -hmm. um market value um had thought they just bought mm -hmm. a gun um, right yeah you, you know, always want to cover yourself you know 
And, but I've also seen it where when they had that proof, okay, but I got it from this person at this time, then yeah. an investigator can just follow that up, okay? Mm -hmm. Now they're, they're still going to seize it. That's one risk that you have in a private transaction is right. if it's stolen gun, it doesn't matter if you paid someone 400 bucks for it mm -hmm. uh, or you traded them something of equal value. They're going to seize it because it belongs to someone else. Right. Uh, but you're not going to be charged with a crime if you have good verifiable evidence as to how you obtain the gun and so something simple like making a bill of sales a great way to do that okay sounds easy man yep. not too bad just write it up get some signatures get some photographs with some ids yeah make sure you're in a safe place and too. of course the other thing too no is back alley if, gun deals if guys somebody is hesitant to get their driver's license out there's probably a reason yeah, and if they're like, "Hey, I don't really want to do this official," so it's not official. I'm just going to keep this at my house, right? Mm -hmm. In case I ever need to refer to it. And most, uh, in fact, all honest people are like, "Okay, I understand that. It's not yep. going into a database or anything like that." Um, there is another option. You can do an FFL transfer mm -hmm. inside of, a, and and you, it's required if you go outside of the state. Uh, like if you're trying to transfer a gun to someone uh, across state lines, you need an FFL transfer to do that. Mm -hmm. Inside the state, you don't need it, but you could still do it to cover your bases, which would mean meet the person here, turn the firearm over to us, uh, and then we would conduct a background check and transfer the firearm to them. Uh, our transfer fee is $30, and we would document all that, and it would be giving you the added peace of mind that the buyer passed a background check and that has all been documented and we take care of that paper trail for you. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily required, but it is an extra layer of protection for you if you should choose to do that. Another thing I want to remind you is that you, you can buy and sell and trade as a hobby, but if you do it to earn money routinely, the ATF is going to expect that you be a licensed dealer. And I have seen people get charged with federal gun crimes for doing things to earn a profit routinely with guns without an FFL license. So, uh, Dustin, do that with confidence. Get a bill of sale. Make a bill of sale. Or if it's a big deal, if you don't feel quite right about it, volunteer to come to Liberty Tree Guns. We can handle that for you. Be happy to do it and make sure that all of the details are buttoned up. This voicemail box is still feeling pretty heavy. Got more listener questions coming right up on the Gun Shop Show. Buckle up, because belts just got better. With Core Essentials, the perfect fit every time. With 40 plus sizing positions, styles for any situation. Whether in the boardroom, crushing sales and taking names, on your next adventure, in the great outdoors, or when you're done for the day and ready to relax. Get your perfect fit with Core Essentials. It's been a pleasure over the last 18 months serving both the Mount Vernon and the Carthage community with all their wireless needs, whether that's small business or keeping your family connected. Visit us at 100 George E. Phelps Boulevard, Carthage, Missouri, or 417-317-6342. If you need a simple upgrade to add a line or need help with a plan change, come by and let one of our representatives help you out. Our Mount Vernon location is located at 318 West Mount Vernon Boulevard. Our phone number is 417-737-9669, or you can visit our Facebook page at Verizon Wireless Mount Vernon. We have all the accessories for your favorite models, such as the S20 Ultra, maybe it's the 11 Pro Max, or the Google Pixel 4. For just a simple plan change, an upgrade, or to add a new line to your account, stop by one of our convenient locations or check us out on social media. To get connected or stay connected to Verizon Wireless, the nation's best network. Thank you. We will see you soon. This just in, huge cave found beneath the heart of the city. Spelunka shared tales of an underground cavern system in Carthage, Missouri. Locals report the entrance to be at 10th and Garrison. Cave Gang Pizza. 
Stop in and enjoy wings, wood fire pizza made with local ingredients, and our full bar. Bring the whole gang and uncover a legend. Hey, podcast listeners and live stream viewers. I wanted to let you know that the Gun Shop Show is made possible by our friends at Mid America RV. Being in the customer service industry, I have a really high standard for how customers are treated. Mid America RV does it right. I've got my RV through their dealership and I've taken it all over the country. Uh, we made it to South Padre Island. We've gone to Colorado several times. And if you've ever owned an RV, you know there's a lot that comes with it. So who you get it from, matters and it's extremely important that you have support after the sale Uh, they're located just outside of Carthage they have a really vast inventory and they are home of I believe they call it a forever warranty so I urge you if you're in the market for one to check them out Uh, it's a really fun and can be very affordable way to get your trips in so visit them at midamericarv.com we appreciate their support of the gun shop show if you're in the market for a travel trailer or fifth wheel check out midamerica rv Hey folks, I had to learn the hard way that a good home inspection makes a difference when you're buying a home. Our new sponsor, All Points Inspections, can provide just that. Here's a message from Corey from All Points Inspections. Hey guys, uh, Corey Hines here, uh, owner of All Points Inspections. Up on a roof right now, currently doing a roof inspection, checking for leaks. But I am excited to announce that I am a new sponsor with the Gun Shop Show. Those guys are awesome over there. It's been kind of a Saturday morning routine for me now to join in on the conversations. Uh, Just a bunch of good group of guys all around, followers, watchers. Check them out. If you guys need home inspections, give me a call. 417-439-9229. Thank you. Hey, you know what makes this, the gun shop show, possible? It's people who believe in the show. And someone who has believed in the show from the very beginning is my good friend Chris Chapman, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply. Here's a message from Chris. Guys, uh, my name's Chris Chapman, uh, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply. And I just want to take a few seconds here to let you know that we are going to be proud sponsors of the gun shop show. And uh, we, we appreciate everything that them guys are doing over there. And we just want to show them our support. Thank you. So whether you have two chickens or 2,000 acres, Chris is your man. Give him a call. I guess that's pretty much the ad. Whitehead Farm Supply. Seriously? Welcome back, everybody, to the Gun Shop Show. Remember, if you want to win this Heritage Rough Rider 22 long rifle with the extra 22 mag cylinder, mm-hmm. all you got to do is share the live stream feed on Facebook and tag five friends in tag. the comments. Doesn't, be, doesn't get any easier than that. The feed. Yeah, for sure. We're on a triathlon mm-hmm. of checking the voicemail. That's right. Let's see what's next. Let's hit a root. Hey, let me try to reset that, guys. Here we go. Let's try again. Hey, uh, this is Daniel uh, from Carthage, Missouri. Hey, I was just curious. Uh, I haven't heard anything from Nathan the Liberal uh, in a while. Uh, did he get the, the uh, coronavirus or something? The, <laughs> the, just checking on him. Well, that's awfully nice of the caller to check on that Nathan. It has question. been a while, though. Yeah, it has yeah. been a while. Mm-hmm. I wonder if he's still liberal. I He's Nathan know. the Liberal. <laughs> oh, it's in, in the, the name. name. You know, no, come no, on. No. People change. Oh, uh, man. Well, that that's is true. true. He, he, did, he did say he was going to be a correspondent for us. That's oh. true. A lot of yeah. people have came over, mm-hmm. um, you know, to mm-hmm. become gun owners and everything yeah. else. But the pandemic will change you. Let's, It'll uh, change you. <laughs> I've seen some things. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's, uh, can, do you think you could reach out to Nathan Yeah, I'll call I'll call him up here in my in my browser window. Give me just a quick second Yeah, he gave. Remember, he gave it to us. He said it'd be a correspondent on the show Kay. oh yeah, yeah all yeah. right guys here we go i'm gonna give him a call okay bring him up oh i hope he answers <laughs> me too me too i love this guy hello hey nathan <laughs> i'm so it's glad you answered it's uh it's the guys from liberty tree guns and the gun shop show oh sakes alive what do you want 
Yeah, what do we want, guys? Uh, I'm just checking in <laughs> on you, yeah, we're buddy. Just checking in on you. Uh, I've been we, worried about you. Realized, I haven't heard from you. No, we had a caller that thought maybe you caught the Rona or something. There's no way I could catch COVID-19. I wear two masks for incoming air <laughs> and one on the other end just to catch anything going out. Plus, I've only come into contact with Katy Perry, and I even stay six feet away from her. Uh, I have to say, Wait, Katy th- Perry. I don't the think that's Katie a mask Perry? on the other end, guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure that might be uh, some depends. <laughs> Catching anything going? going did he on? say? Wait, did he say Katy Perry? Like he did. He Katie did, Perry? and we probably uh, shouldn't let Nathan, that go. Nathan, who you hanging out with? The Katy Perry? Yes, yeah, my turtle's name is Katy Perry. Oh, I call her that. Oh, that makes sense. A lot more sense. Mm. It said that she was his firework. <laughs> yeah. Little firework. Yeah, 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 hopefully not sense. putting fireworks on the turtle. Yeah. Wait, uh, he stays six feet away from his turtle. How does he feed it? I bet he. <laughs> He sits and throws the food in from a distance. <laughs> and hoping to make There's it. probably a bunch of turtle food on the floor around there. Yeah. Uh, Nathan, it's been a while since we heard from you. I'm sure you're keeping up with the election um, and tracking all of that on your Twitter feed. Mm-hmm. Um, the Twitters. What, what's on your radar? Who you got in this election? Bernie, all the way. I'm feeling the burn. I won't vote for anybody but Bernie. Yikes. Somebody should let him know. Uh, does, does he know? It, I probably For someone not. with I such was, a finger no on the fi- pulse. Yeah, I was going to say, no finger on there. There's no pulse. Uh, Nathan, Bernie dropped out and endorsed Biden. How do you feel about that? I actually love Joe Biden. You know, a lot of people don't <laughs> like him, but I met him in person at a vegan food market, and I can tell he's a very good man. Okay, oh, well, that was a quick right. change. Yeah, yeah, went from, uh, yeah. Not, to support anyone, apparently. Uh, Sometimes that's what it takes. How, but I got to know, how could you tell that Joe Biden was a good man? He sniffed me. I could tell by his sniff that he really cared about me. Well, that's uh, quite the sniff. That's, wait, a, that's an impressive sniff. I want to know what kind of sniff it was. Was it like a... Or is it more like a... a two different sniffs. Yeah. They how it could be. Sniff. I don't know about this. How sniff, did you guys? tell all that from the sniff? Yes. It was a nice, firm, dry sniff. Good sniff. Not too fast, not too slow. Right there in that sweet spot. If the man leads like he sniffs, he's going to do a good job. Well, I have to say myself, uh, I need to be sniffed. I got, I got to experience the sniff. <laughs> it must be a heck of a uh, sniff. Oh, guys, it looks like it looks like he hung up on us. Oh, man. Did he really? Yeah. Well, he, thank I, you, Nathan. It's good to hear from you. and glad to know you didn't. Catch the Rona. I don't think he appreciated. Uh, he appreciated some of that, but I don't, I don't think know. he's being honest with us w- about the sniff. Well, if he's saying that he stays six feet apart from everyone, even his turtle, how did Joe Biden sniff him? Well, we don't uh, know. When well, that we don't know. I think when Joe the Biden sniff has occurred. been sniffing for a long time. Uh, yeah, probably, yeah, right. Probably, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. In he's crowd, been in Congress for like fifty-seven years. I'm I sure bet he's plenty been time sniffing. To sniff you put Joe Biden. Then. Yeah, if you put Joe Biden in a crowd, he'll machine gun sniff everybody. It's just like <laughs> his slogan is always he's been got like a typewriter sniffs in his sniff magazine than the CP thirty three had twenty two long rifles. In the <laughs> oh, that's yeah. an impressive joke, man. Yeah, yeah. Ting, ting, ting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> what else we got in the voicemail box? <laughs> Yeah, hi, Logan, this is your doctor. Give me a call. I have several treatment options for your itching. Oh, yikes. I Dude, that. I thought you were going to fix this doctor I gave him show. my personal number, uh, and he didn't change it over. Uh-oh. Well, you know, once you save it in your phone, it's not. Yeah, it's hard to change it. It's hard I to need change to give it. Him a call. I barely even save people on my phone. I just, go- I just search the conversations to figure out mm-hmm. the last thing I talked about with that person. That's how oh I, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're like, well, who is it? I was saying stuff to, and then yeah, you find I'm that. Like, uh, look and up then you're like, Nick. Hey, I'm calling about the itching. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just uh, a little itching. All okay. right, oh, okay. Not well, a big deal. Let's skip. I probably over it. got it from the lawnmower. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You've been sharing the lawnmower. Is that a community lawnmower? No, I mow naked because it's too hot, Trevor. Oh, sorry, man. I didn't realize you were so sensitive it's about that. It's just it's it's fine. It's Sarcoxy. <laughs> There's lots of stuff legal in Sarcoxy. People Cicoxy. stare. I don't it's not care. Legal elsewhere. Let's move on. All right. Next one. Playing up the next one here. Yeah. Hi, Logan. This is your doctor again. 
Getting back to your question, given your circumstance, I do not recommend putting on someone else's underwear at this time. <laughs> That's super personal. That was man. one time. I told him that in confidence. Uh, yeah. I was drunk at a party. Mm-hmm. I thought they were my underwear. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you need to wear multiple pairs of underwear. Are they, they just need to make sure they're underwear? all your underwear. We're not going to talk about that on this show. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Next one. Next one. I get it. That is not a joke, Logan. Millions of families suffer every year. You need to stop with this. I am sick and tired of listening to you. Pretend that you're me. Knock it off. I'm going to rub you across your face. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> oh, man. That was intense. So somebody was yeah. that who I think it was. Uh, There's only one likely, sound that matches yeah, that, and uh, it also happens to be the Im- yeah. impression. The rest of us are over here doing Dirty Harry uh-huh. or yeah. uh, Christopher Walken. That's all yeah, I have. They're not calling the show, Logan. He needs to know that imitation is his sincerest form of flattery. Uh, and it didn't sound like he yeah. was taking it like that. It sounded more like uh, identity theft. It sounds well, like he might come. Um, well, I don't. I can only assume. What I think was. he said, "Break my kneecaps." <laughs> that was in between what he was saying, <laughs> but it was beeped yeah. out, like a subtext. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Good thing that uh, one was. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just stop using censored. it. It's, it's the last year anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Just right. to be on the safe side. Yeah. I'll tell you what, yeah. yeah. Pan- pandemic does a heck of a thing to people, guys. All right, guys. Mm-hmm. I am taking this seriously, putting in the work. I think we can squeeze in one more voicemail. Okay. Hey Logan, it's your brother again. I was just calling to uh see if you would uh, talk to your friends over there about uh about the time we practice karate or martial arts on the trampoline and kick out in the face. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay. Well, your brother always sounds. Yeah. He, he sounds, sounds creepy. Just, no, he sounds just like you, which I mean, I guess that well, makes yeah. sense. If yeah. You sound creepy. It sounds, he sounds like creepy. You sound, sound creepy. after you have teleported. <laughs> Nasally. Does he sound like that in person? I've never met your brother, but is he always anxious and like he's on the edge and he's out of breath? No, he doesn't. Oh. oh, okay. Well, I have to say, you guys do sound alike. And also, I didn't know you knew karate, Logan. Yeah. What's up with that? Well, you know, it's not real karate or uh, martial arts. Well, what other kind of karate is there? It's like, it was like fake kid karate because mm-hmm. I was a kid when I did this too. Oh, like mm-hmm. the fire pole. oh yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You, know. you pick it on your little brother. So you're huh? on the trampoline. Well, you're doing round context. Kicks. Mm-hmm. I will not really, uh, really into Pokemon back in the day. Oh, I like did not expect. Was. I did not expect Pokemon to like peek it, into this. Conversation. Like everyone was. It looks like we're coming up on a break. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh no, you are not allowed to use the break <laughs> yeah. as an out, That's guys. Right. Stay right with us. I'll finish this story we <laughs> oh, we're coming right back. <laughs> you're gonna on hear this. The Gun Shop Show. Land is everything to me. Uh, when I was born, I was brought home to the family farm, uh, was raised, learned work ethic there, learned uh, appreciation and respect for life and the land itself, and it just became second nature. I had to be there all the time. Whenever I wasn't on the land, I was not happy. But I learned to understand the land, learned to respect it, you know, learned family values. You know, my wife and I have bought a farm. Uh, besides the one we live on, and uh, it has just been a, it's been a great investment, and it's been some place that my son and I have shared the passion of hunting together, and you know it's just it li- uh, you know, land has been you know land has been everything in my life. It, it has kind of kept kept me focused and and uh, gave me a place to be. It's kind of kept me grounded. commercial idea for net fishes i walk into the commercial director will call him's office i say to him hey how's it going he replies good we got your commercial ready to go are you ready to listen yeah but before i do i have an idea i want to float by you he says okay a bit sarcastically and i say all right and i clear my throat <clears throat> and i start singing this song something similar Net fishes, we're all really good friends, hanging out and stuff, and having memories to talk about when we were young. Snap fishes, 
and I say the business name wrong, like Fish Nets. He replies, that's terrible. And you didn't even say the right business name at the end. It's your business. Then it cuts to Fish Snatches. I mean, Nav Fishes, where we can all be friends. And commercial. Welcome back to the Gun Shop Show. Right before break, you would have thought maybe Logan was the host of the show. All right, he just kind of <laughs> took over. He, he heard. Yeah. Um, he heard the that show was outro calling. coming. He and just went ahead and just took the reins. Became host for a second. It was it hiding felt good. The behind. power. Yeah. Felt good. Oh Went man. To your head, did it mm. revive you at all from the teleportation process? I feel better. Yeah, he's more revived. alive. Mm. Feels good. I bet. More alive than you probably felt in a while. So uh, we That's had true. been checking the voicemail, mm -hmm. and Logan's brother called in and yep, yep. said, mm -hmm. "Have you told the story about the time you were doing karate on the trampoline?" Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I it's told probably the, real karate too. I told the story in between the breaks, so we can just skip over that. No, and, you didn't. No, no, we need to hear it. No, I we need to hear it. the karate no, story. I didn't hear it. We I want to hear about your headphones. karate. <laughs> okay, first off, disclaimer: not real karate. <laughs> Second off, I was into Pokemon as a kid. Uh huh. Like a lot of, like yeah, a, oh, like I believe a you. Big amount. Yeah, Pokemon's but, like the uh, apple of stuff. Yeah. So me and my brother would jump on the trampoline, mm -hmm. and we would say Pokemon moves as like karate moves. Mm -hmm. So like, if you're familiar with Pikachu, he has like a thunderbolt. So we would punch and be like thunderbolt, and then punch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. That was pretty much what we did, and we had right. a lot of fun with that. But mm -hmm. one day. My dad joined us on the trampoline, and we're all bouncing around doing uh -huh. this stupid Pokemon martial arts, Poke Arts, or whatever it's called. I don't care. But <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, you don't care, but you gave it a name, but you don't care. <laughs> yeah, well, he, Poke care, arts. he cares so little. Row. He's got Let's specific host words. The first annual Poke Arts, uh, right here on the competition. Gun show show. Poke Arts, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, like martial martial Poke Arts, yeah. 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 I'll be one of the coaches. Mm -hmm. We could get Joe week. Rogan to host that. I bet. Oh, I'm sure he probably would do it. Too. <laughs> he loves that stuff. He's 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 not busy. He'll no, he'll do this I'm one. Sure, it'd be but we're gonna need a trampoline, guys. Okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So we're jumping on the trampoline, mm -hmm. doing our Pokemon, scissor Poke kicking. Arts, mm -hmm. or scissor kicks. Yeah. Yeah. And I jumped up. And I was like, dragon breath! And I kicked out really hard. <laughs> and I kicked my dad right in the face. <laughs> I have to know how old you were. Eight or nine. Maybe. Eight or nine. Mm -hmm. it was so last. probably more it like was, fourteen or fifteen. It was what? last year. How did that? What happened to him? So he was stunned. It was like mm -hmm. it was like this. <laughs> for the radio, <laughs> for the radio listener, he looked very stunned. Yeah, yeah. he was exceptionally stunned. Sam Logan gonna, looks exactly like his dad. You, so you just got to, and it was many years ago. Uh -huh. So it, it wasn't that long. So it ago. was just like. <laughs> dragon breath it felt like a kick in the face <laughs> you're like dragon breath yeah. feels like a kick in the face dad like that's the point dad that's the whole reason they call it dragon breath <laughs> dad don't you know anything about pokemon <laughs> uh, it was good times yeah uh, it sounds exceptional man you got fire poles and pokemon this kicks this reminds yeah. me of a story from when i was a kid mm -hmm. i used to like to take things apart mm -hmm. tinker with them yeah family you, you still do yeah. That's true. <laughs> I did too. My family would give me like broken electronics and things and mm -hmm. I'd take them apart and look at the insides and as I got older I started fixing them but at first it was more just taking them apart. But someone gave me an old weed eater. An mm -hmm. old, old wooden ship. Um, <laughs> an old weed eater like weed eater brand with a curved shaft mm -hmm. and it didn't run and the shaft was broken right so i took the shaft off and i probably thought like i'll get this running yeah. you know hook it up <laughs> to my bike right <laughs> you know because i actually did hook a push mower motor up to a big wheels jeep one time mm -hmm. with my buddy jake and the neighbor kids that's a different story for a different time <laughs> later it yeah. worked by the way it worked did it yes for a while until it melted <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, it'd be great if most your stories ended with it, and then it melted oh yeah. well it and um, that's a real true thing is we rode it around and they didn't have any way to stop so you pull the rope and it was going until it wasn't and we would drive it around and when we needed to stop we would just crash into a tree <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty violent uh, that's awesome <laughs> it eventually melted through and ruined it so we had a glorious like hour with it while mm -hmm. it was working we couldn't believe it was working <laughs> i said i was going to tell it another time but boom told done right now that's, anyway that's back to the weed eater thing okay. took the shaft off and inside of there was a clutch mm -hmm. like a centrifugal clutch mm-hmm I begged my dad to, like, 
helped me get it started because I couldn't pull the rope fast enough. Okay. We went on the back deck, put some starter fluid in there. Mm -hmm. okay. Like second pull. And it fired up and a piece of the clutch flew off, hit my dad in the chin, knocked him out, and he fell off the deck into the backyard. Yikes, You man. knocked your dad out? I knocked him unconscious wow. for like a few seconds. Wow. Uh, How big a piece open. of metal was this? It was about like um, the size of like a chicken nugget. Solid, like a Wendy's wow. or a McDonald's chicken nugget. Yeah, which yeah, one? Probably like if you took a McDonald's chicken nugget and uh -huh. bit it in half. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. About Pict that size. I'm picturing it. About that size and shape, in fact. Mm -hmm. So either it was flying extremely fast, or your dad has a weak chin. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, one or the other. I mean, however fast a uh, two-stroke weed eater motor can fly. Pretty fast. So last week, we did a poll on the show that's right because we do a two-hour show every mm -hmm. week uh-huh uh -huh. we go on the radio we put on a clean show yeah yep. the cleanest and not a, not everyone can last for two hours no on the radio but we no. do every week that's why we work out on kzrg we have mm -hmm. to. news talk kzrg and yep. 1041 springfield's talk yep. and then once we kind of made sure sometimes we run out of time believe it or not we have all this stuff we want to cover gun mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. gun guests gun voicemails mm -hmm. uh, gun giveaways which uh, we're doing again today all you got to do is share the feed and tag five friends in the comments That's to all it takes. get this used heritage rough rider from our inventory yep. as one of the nation's largest used guns dealers that's just one of many guns that we get anyway we usually do all that and then we go into another segment of the show yeah that goes beyond that that you can get on the podcast or mm -hmm. you can get uh on Facebook, or mm -hmm. now you can get at thegunchopshow.com. This you is know. true. Mm -hmm. You can get all of that. And we had this other segment. Mm -hmm. I wanted to call it Overdrive. Right. I wanted to call it The Encore. And Trevor wanted to call it... What we had been calling it, which was the the overflow. He is a That's stickler right. for there consistency. Yeah. He is a stickler for mm -hmm. consistency. Mm -hmm. Once it's done, he wants it to be done that way forever. That's not necessarily true, but okay. <laughs> not for the most part. I'm just kidding. But we had a poll about what should we call it and what won. Uh, well, as of the end of that poll, it was Overdrive. Mm -hmm. But then that borne out another idea to That's call it. That's right. It begat the, it was your idea, Trevor. Another, well, it I mean, it, I would say it was a team effort. I liked it. Because we're a team. You wanted to call it the Shover Drive. Shover Drive. Mm -hmm. Shover Drive. Gun so, Shop Show Shover Drive. So the reason I go through all the trouble of telling you that yeah. is because normally we have so much stuff that we run out of time, and then we have to go into the Shover Drive and cover Shover it. Shover Drive. Um... But today we really set a pace. That's right. Checking the voicemail, and yeah, that's we did. it's going to be a record. Normally, we killed it. Mm -hmm. Normally, stuff goes off the rails in the show. Drive. Yeah, it gets weird. Yeah, it gets strange. Mm -hmm. Normally, all of the Pikachu-related stories. Mm -hmm. um, but today is kind of amazing because we checked a very full voice very mailbox. Heavy that's right. Voice mailbox. We didn't mess around. Uh, well, we mm -hmm. also teleported to the range three times. Yeah. Not once. Yeah, not once. Not twice. That's not in the price. Uh, Thrice. I screwed three up once, times. put in the wrong coordinates. It's okay, man. Yeah. Ended up on the square, which yeah. is, uh, we got it's to, okay. we got to get a look at mm -hmm. the new Liberty Tree guns, but we also got to look at uh, one of our favorite places up on the square. That's right. Belongs to one of our sponsors. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The woodshed, delicious burgers. I Extremely am delicious. Not gonna Love lie, it. I've been thinking about burgers ever since then. Yeah, me too. I want too. one right now. Yeah, I would love to have a burger from the woodshed. Mm -hmm. uh, one of our great sponsors, by the way. If you would like to get extra exposure for your business, yeah, you can do that by sponsoring the Gun Shop Show. Mm -hmm. This is true. Um, is it can they go to the gunshopshow.com? Yeah, you can go to the gunshop show, the gunshopshow.com and click on sponsors. Mm -hmm. And if you would like to become a sponsor, just fill out that little form right there and uh, get you situated. And you're hearing that on the radio and you're thinking, well, what does that get me? Because when they go to break, I hear my station's commercials. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing 
on TV, which were on TV in Joplin. This is true. And on the live stream, which last week, 46,000 and climbing. Just a meager 46. Meager 46,000 people Mm -hmm. uh, reached on Facebook. When we go to those radio commercial breaks. Mm Mm-hmm. You see spots for our sponsors, so yep. we get to show off uh, all these great people that support us, and it's working. Uh, I know it's working because the sponsors tell me, "Hey, people come in and they mention things from the show. Yeah, they mention the ad that we made, and we make those ads for you too. That's the other cool thing. So, special thank mm-hmm. you to all of our sponsors." Uh, U.S. Law Shield, our flagship sponsor, and their contribution by bringing in expert John. Uh, they definitely help make the show possible. And you can check out all of our sponsors by joining the Gun Shop Show Facebook group. And soon we'll have a very, uh, very nice display of all of our sponsors there on the Gun Shop Show. So you can make sure that you support people who support the show and mm-hmm. support the things that you believe in absolutely we appreciate it yep one last thing go to the gun shop show get a chance to compete for the free mini mosin 22 long rifle bolt action Mm -hmm. all you have to do is get our free merch take a picture yep upload it in the gun shop show group and people can like your photo the one with the most likes gets the gun we're not doing any show overdrive today boys this is it. No show. This is, it. This is the real thing. Thanks Calling for being with us on the Gun Shop Show. Oh.